September the 11th, 2001, is a day many people living in the United States will not forget in a hurry. Years after the sad event, the National September 11 Memorial Museum showcases works of art but done by artists who carry the memory in their hearts. Rendering the Unthinkable is an exhibition featuring works of art done by 13 artists based in New York whose lives have been impacted by the 2001 attack on the World Trade Center. They've taken all their emotions and found strength through this expression to capture a time that left an indelible mark in the hearts of many. We thought there needs to be another way in to remembering and we realized that art is another way in. It gives you that immediacy of the emotional truth of that moment um, and you see through another person's eyes and through their artistic practice how they struggled with the very same emotions that all of us have. Works of art range from the literal, with paintings depicting the actual moments the tragedy occurred, to abstract pieces such as artist Gustavo Bonavardi's Falling, which was inspired by the events that occurred that fateful day. That image of pages floating in space was what everyone saw who was down there as the towers were burning uh, all around this beautiful crystal clear blue sky and these pages just like lyrically floating in space and it was it was actually quite beautiful and somehow it seemed like it was the the souls of people being released or memories being lost there was something very very uh very striking about it artist manja Chandler began her massive project gesture shortly after 9-11 it's made up of nearly 3,000 individual drawings. I was shocked and scared and overwhelmed, like most New Yorkers, I think. Um, a few days later, I returned to my studio, and I don't even remember what I was making, but it was. I started this. Um, it felt like this was this. I had the idea that I would do one painting for each person who died, and at that point, we really had no idea how many people it was going to be. Beyond the Memorial, artists are using this show as an appeal to the world to learn to live together and remember that there's truly only one race, the human race. Born in November 1925, Elijah Kolawale Ogumala, popularly called Kola Ogumala, is from Ekiti State, southwest Nigeria. A man of many parts, dramatist, actor, mime director, and playwright. Before his career as a professional theatre practitioner, he was a schoolmaster in Adoikiti at Emmanuel School, creating plays performed by children inside and outside the school. He formed his drama troupe, Ogumala's Theatre Party, around some of the pupils and his fellow teachers, which was modeled after Ogunde's Theatre Party and some of his early operas like Reign of the Mighty. One of his early plays revealed a Christian influence. He developed Yoruba culture, especially folk opera, which is a fusion of Christian themes with traditional Yoruba folklore, music and dancing in urban culture into a serious theatre through his work with his Ogumola Travelling Theatre. In 1962, the University of Ibada established a drama school and Mr. Ogumola was offered a grant to become a resident artist. The Artist in Residence program was sponsored by the Rockefeller Foundation and it provided the funds to buy equipment that soon allowed him to go fully professional. He produced the Fair War in 1965, a satire on marriage and wealth, and then the dramatic version of Tutwala's The Pine Wine Drinker. He is regarded as one of the most brilliant actors in Africa in the 1950s and the 60s. 
He died in 1973. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. Let me borrow words from the great writer Flora Wangpa as we wrap up this show. She talks about the evil of war. It goes like this. What arrogance, what stupidity led us to this desolation, to this madness, to this wickedness, to this war, to this death? When this cruel war was over, there will be no more war. It will not happen again. Never again. Never again. Never again. And with those few words, we wrap up this week's edition of At House. Thank you so much for watching. And let's always remember to shun violence and embrace peace. I'm Melinda Akinlami. <laughs>